Hi, my name is Jackie, welcome. Uh, we're going to do a 30 minute flow class today designed to make you feel your best. So uh, I hope you leave the mat feeling a whole lot better today. We're going to start with a warm up lying on our backs. I'm just going to get you to turn around and slowly lock yourself down to the floor. Bring the feet up underneath the ankles. And place your left ankle on the right knee. We're going to reach behind the right thigh and just gently draw back. If this is a bit of a reach for you, you can always grab a strap. I'm going to move that right leg. So as we inhale, let's straighten the leg up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Hold it, and as you exhale, just rotate that ankle gently around in one direction. Back in the other direction. And back to centre. Release that foot down, place your right ankle on the left knee, and reach behind the thigh. Hopefully feeling a stretch through this sort of area of the body here, through the hips and buttocks, that sciatic area. And with the left leg, let's inhale, lengthen. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale down. Oh, one more. Inhale up. And rotate that ankle around in one direction. And back in the other. Nice. Back to centre. Put your feet down to the floor. And just bring your arms down beside the body. Tuck the shoulders underneath, feet are hip-width apart. Let's inhale, roll the hips up. Exhale, down. This time as we inhale up, take the arms up as well. Touch the back of the hands on the floor. If you haven't got that space to reach there, it doesn't matter. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Exhale down. Draw the knees up to the chest. Just hug the knees and rock the back from side to side. Coming back to centre. Draw the forehead up towards the knees. And then you can either roll up by crossing the ankles and grabbing the toes, work your way onto your side and come up that way. We're going to continue over to table position. So come over and make your way back onto your mat. So make your way through a few cat cows. Let's inhale, lengthen through the front of the body. And exhale. Arch, chin to chest. A couple more rounds at your own pace. Interlace the fingers, draw the elbows together and just move the wrists around in one direction. Swarming up through the wrists. They get a good workout in yoga. They really need a good warm up. Back in the other direction. If your wrists do feel it through a class, you can always stop and just give them a bit of a massage like this. Just rotating around both directions. And then back to centre. Let's make our way through to downward dog. 
starting in table, hands forward, and lifting up. Nice bend in the legs and keeping that length through the spine. Let's take ourselves for a little walk, really bringing that bent knee towards the centre so you get a nice stretch through the side of the body. And back to centre. Let's walk the hands back. I'm just doing a forward fold here. Release the stretch. Then inhale, take the arms out. I'm going to exhale, bring the hands to prayer. And walk to the front of your mat. I'm actually going to turn around, face this way. I'm coming into Tadasana, feet hip width apart, shoulders relaxed. As we start a gentle sun salutation, let's inhale up and exhale down. Half lift, flat back, and release back down. Step the right leg back, drop the knee, and just take the arms out. And release, plank position. Just for this first round, I'm going to drop the knees, bring the sit bones back towards the heels, and come forward, shoulders over wrists, slowly lower down. Engage the core, push yourself back up. Sit bones back. Let's come forward, lower down. Once more, pushing up. And back, coming forward, hugging those elbows in and lowering down as slowly as you can. And then through to Sphinx Pose, so bring those arms up, elbows underneath the shoulders, pushing the chest gently through the arms. Take the elbows out, let's push back to wide legged like child's pose, knees as wide as the mat. And make your way back through the downward dog, bring the knees in, lifting yourself up, raising the right leg up for three legged dog, and stepping all the way through. You want to step back to downward dog and drop the knees to do that step through, that's absolutely fine. Left leg forward, inhale, exhale. Half lift and release. Left leg back, drop the knee, open the arms. Really feel that chest center reaching forward. Nice stretch through the left hip flexor. Release down, plank position. Let's drop the knees. Hold it here, come back into table, raise the knees up about five centimeters off the floor and hold. down. I'm going to do a side stretch coming up into the knees. Take your left leg out to the side, inhale up with the arms and exhale over. I want you to feel that stretch from the knee right through to the fingers. You're just opening this right rib cage and feeling the breath moving there. And release back. Let me in and extend the right leg out. Inhale up. Find your length first and exhale over. And let's release. Bring the knee back in. Make your way back to downward dog. So raise the left leg, you can step all the way forward if it's easier for you, drop the knees, step forward, left, right leg forward, sorry, inhale and exhale down, half lift and release, step your right leg back, 
Coming back to plank position. I'm going to come into side plank. You're welcome to drop the knee if you want. We'll bring the left hand to the centre and move over onto one side. If it's easier for you to have that knee down, you feel free. Whatever suits your body. Oh, let's come back to centre and do the other side. You're welcome just to have the feet staggered or to line that foot up with the arm hand and keep raising that upper hip up towards the ceiling. And release back to centre. Lower all the way down to the floor. And just staying there. We're going to inhale up for baby cobra. Exhale down. Inhale up a bit higher if you like. Exhale down. And inhale up for a higher cobra. Or even if you want, bring the hands back beside the rib cage and lifting up into an up dog. Back to down dog, everybody. Raise the right leg up. And come into scorpion tail. Square the hips and step forward. Left leg. Inhale, arms out. Exhale, down. Half lift. And release. Step the left leg back. Step back to plank position. Just holding here. Drop the knees down. And raise. And lower. And raise. And lower. And raise. And lower. And back to plank. And back to down dog. Raise your left leg. Scorpion tail. Square the hips and step forward. Right leg. Inhale, arms down. And we're just going to come back, hands in prayer. And hold it here. Good work. And release the arms down. Alright. Bring your hands to your hips. Just shift your weight to your left foot and bring the right leg up for the Vrikshasana or tree pose. Find your drishti, solid foundation through the left foot, hands in prayer. And hold it there. Or maybe make branches with the arms. back to prayer. Raise that leg up. You can either grab the knee and draw it in if you like. You can grab the big toe and extend the leg out to the front. Release. Hold the knee again. And lower down. Ready for the other side, shift the weight and we'll bring the left foot up. Anywhere from the ankle to the upper thigh. Hands in prayer, nice steady drishti. Today, putting your hands back, we're going to raise that left leg, interlace over the knee and hold, or pistol grip the big toe, breathe in, and exhale, stretch. Release, hold the knee, and release back down. Good 
work. Feet hip width apart, interlace the fingers, push the palms down, inhale up. Finding your drishti, pushing up through the balls of the big toes and holding. Who's holding their breath? Keep it flowing. And back down. Well done. Move back to the front of your mat to Tadasana. Just listening to the breath. Taking a moment to turn that focus inwards. Let's inhale, arms out. And let's exhale, arms down. Half lift. Nice flat back, draw the shoulder blades back down and roll down. Right knee back, table position. Lower down, I don't mind if you drop the knees or lower all the way to the floor. You might want to do chaturanga, you might want to come into cobra or up dog, the choice is yours. Coming back to double dog, right leg, raise it up. We're going to step forward. Find our warrior one first. Turn the back foot out. Right knee stacked over the ankle. Come up to warrior one. Let the inner shoulders relax. Then pivot onto the ball of the back foot. Bring the hands to prayer. I'm going to come through to warrior three. So you can take a couple of steps forward or just one. I'm raising up, we'll bring the arms back today and holding, pushing out through the heel, reaching forward through the crown. Bring the hands to the hips and just gently step back to your warrior two pose. Flip the front palm and find your reverse warrior. Just feel the breath expanding and condensing in that right rib cage. And release, come to easy side angle. Now with that upper arm, let's bring it back. And see if you can bring those fingers to the top of that thigh, it doesn't matter if you can't. If anyone wants to move into full bound, you feel free, bring that right shoulder in front, monkey grip behind. So you open the chest towards the ceiling. And please pivot to the ball of the back foot. We're coming back to downward dog. Walk it out. Oh, back to centre. I'm going to raise the right leg, scorpion tail. And I'm going to move that foot through for pigeon pose. So right ankle up to the right wrist. I want you to come up onto the fingertips if that's okay for your back. Inhale here, exhale, lower down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, lower down. Inhale up. I'm going to roll onto our right hip. I'm going to draw that leg around and bring it up over the spinal twist. If this doesn't suit you, feel free to straighten that leg, that right leg out. You want both sit bones on the floor here. Let's inhale, lift up. Exhale, lift arm around behind us as we find our length. And exhale as we find our twist. You can keep drawing that leg in towards the body with the hand or you can bring the whole arm to the outside. Whatever feels right for you. Roll back into the 
right thigh, bring that leg back behind us. And bring this right lower leg parallel to the front of the mat. Let's inhale, bring the arms up. As we exhale, just bring that left hand down to the knee and the right hand around for a different twist. Inhale. This time bring your right hand down next to your hip. I'm going to lift up onto both knees. And move forward. Feeling that stretch through the left hip and up through the rib cage. Yeah, that's lower. Back down. We're going to make our way through back to downward dog. Good work. We'll walk it out. Let's raise the left leg up, three legged dog. Scorpion turn. Square the hips and step all the way forward. Turn the back foot out. Find your warrior one. Just release any unnecessary tension. And if you feel okay, move on to the ball of that back foot there. So we come into our high lunge. Bring the hands down into prayer. We move forward into warrior three. Stepping forward. Yeah. Bring that leg up and bring the arms back if you like, or keep them at prayer. And hands to hips as we step back. And find our warrior two again. Reverse with the front palm. Let's come back. And through the easy side angle. We open that right chest towards the ceiling. Bring that right hand back, back of the hand to the lower back, or maybe reach into the top of that thigh if you've got the space. And you can either stay there if you like, your bound warrior. Left shoulder in front of the knee, interlace. And open the arm. Release. Pivot, back to down the dog. Left leg, three legged. Scorpion tail once more. We're going to come through to pigeon pose. Just so square the hips, left knee to left wrist, release the back foot. Let's breathe with it here. Inhale up in the fingertips. Exhale up down. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Move on to that left hip and bring that right knee around. The spinal twist. Remember, straighten that bottom leg if you need to. Both hands on this right knee as we inhale, find our length. And exhale, find our twist. The most important thing in your twist is finding that length, so keep breathing, lengthening, and exhale, softening. Feeling the breath moving down through the twist. That's nice. And that, come back over into the left hip. Bring that right leg back around. And the left leg up parallel to the front of the mat. Left hand. Actually, inhale up. And exhale, right hand to left knee. So we just find that little twist. Inhale up. Place your left hand down beside the hip and pushing up onto the knees, feeling the right rib cage open out. Let's release back down. Good work. And just bring both legs back around in front and come into a wide legged 
forward bend. So just take the legs nice and wide. Walking forward if you can, just trying to get the tailbone back. Let's all start with the hands behind the body as we inhale, lengthen. And as we exhale, just folding forward, just working with the space that you've got. You can keep the hands behind or bring them forward if you want. We all want to be working with the breath, inhaling, finding that length. And exhaling, letting the body soften. A couple more breaths here. Now, let's come back up. Bring the legs, bring the knees back in. Turn back around on your mouth and slowly lock down to the floor. Draw the knees up to the chin, chest and just rock the back from side to side. arms out to the side, place the feet on the floor, shift the hips to the right just a couple of centimetres, raise the feet and drop the knees to the left, gaze to the right. Now let's bring the knees back up to centre, shift back to centre, align yourself. Scoot the hips to the left, just a few centimetres. Inhale, raise the knees up. And exhale, down to the right. Gaze to the left if it suits. If you feel you need to move your knees a bit, feel free. Put a block under your lower knee. release and come back up to centre. Place the feet on the floor. Realign the spine. Now let's come down into Shvasana. Just allowing the body to soften. No need for holding on to any muscles or expression on the face. Just letting everything release and let go. Noticing the breath as it moves in and out, belly rising, belly falling. You're welcome to stay here in a longer Shavasana if you wish, but this is our time up here, so if you've finished, you can roll onto your side, come up to a sitting position. Thank you for joining me for class today. Uh, I hope you're feeling better than when you started. I certainly am. Uh, just bring your hands into prayer, bring the thumbs up to the eyebrow centre and repeat after me. Namaste.